guys, it's John with Greenfish Nation. It's Friday, and as I promised, it's Freak Bait Friday. We're gonna throw this uh, this little turtle, weedless topwater. We got a little topwater mouse here. It's actually a wake bait. We got this little duck. It is not weedless. It has a treble hook on it. And we got this big old spider right here. We're gonna give it a try. So you guys stay tuned to Green Fish Nation. Freak Bait Friday. See how All we All right, do. guys, we're gonna walk around the pond here. Got this mouse wake bait on there. Uh, Y'all can see the pond's pretty, pretty grown up because uh, we hadn't had a whole lot of rain. And we've had a whole lot of sunshine. So we're gonna get out here where we can Work this little wake mouse over some of the top of these grass beds. We'll try to put you guys out here where y'all can uh, can see over here. First cast was the old wake rat. I actually had two little old bass follow that thing back in. Let me get you. Hey guys, this is my wife Stephanie here. She ain't been fishing in probably how long you she's been fishing a year? Six months, a year. We just had a new grandbaby and she ain't got her mind on fishing anymore, so she's first cast on the old sweet potato pie Cinco and it's already showing me up. go first fish on the old wake rat hey do you know bass eat rats no idea well that one got off and he stole my tail uh -huh. well guys i had one there he uh stole the tail out of this thing so we're gonna fish it without the tail for a minute i got another one in the You guys hang tight. I'm gonna go back and get that tail because this thing all it wants to do is dive without that tail. So stay tuned. I had two more hits on it right there, just under the surface of the water. I'll be right back. You guys, as I'm back, I got a new tail for the old wake rat. And Stephanie's over there on fish number two on the sweet potato pie cinco. We got some catching up to do. Well, 
Well, guys, we had another bite, but I think these must be smaller fish, so we're going to move down the point. So hang tight. All right, guys, we moved over here across the pond. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see because you're facing the sun, but we're going to make up a cast here and then move on down and get you guys in the shade. Well, she's on number three, guys, and I've still got one close to the bank. That's it. All right, guys, we're on the big point. I caught two pretty good fish out here, about seven pounds each, and uh, both of them on top water. So we'll see what the old mouth can do. strikes right then I think they're hitting at this tail this tail it it, it wiggles back and forth and it's real pink in the water um, so I think that's why they're short striking it maybe old big Bertha will hit it and she won't short strike it I'm still looking for one and she's on number four I didn't bring no pliers fishing with this uh, lemon and I don't know what they got red and, and green black and green and silver flake in it hope he makes it number four oh, he will. all right guys we uh, caught a couple on that rat bait um, lost the tails off of it though so I'm not real impressed with that but we're gonna give this old turtle a try now so you guys stay tuned Missed one there, fellas. I tell you what, and you set the hook on this thing, it'll travel towards you pretty quick. Not again. Hit it right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but I was about to reel it up, and this one was following it. That's a red ear, look. See, is it right there behind his gill? Oh, that dot? Yeah, look at that, guys. Hang on a second, let me get a better I've never up. caught one of those before. They are some large. That is big. Large bluegill in here. Take that hook out of here. He's got a tiny little mouth. All right, guys, we're going to go over here and make uh, another cast or two of this thing, and then we're going to go back, and we got two more baits we need to try. I've got the, uh, the baby duck. It's not weedless at all. And then we got a yellow tarantula, and it is it is weedless, but we're gonna head back down here and get those. Uh, first, we're gonna stop on our way where this moss is the thickest, because this turtle is weedless, 
It has two little floppy legs on the back of it. Kind of like a double whopper popper, I guess you'd say. We're going to try it and see what we can do in the thick stuff. So y'all stay tuned. Well, I threw it in some pretty thick, scummy stuff there. Uh, you guys can see it's got a little bit on it, but not too bad. Pretty much anything you drag through that stuff is going to pick it up. So, let's try a little further out. Got a bite right there in the junk, boys. guys that's it for the turtle we're gonna go put it in the mouse back in the freak bait box and uh, we're gonna get that big duck out and that tarantula see what we can do with it all right guys I'm back with you I went and retied I got on the little old uh, duck now I say little it's about three and a half ounces it's got a treble hook with feathers on the back also brought with me in my pocket here this big tarantula it's completely weedless so we're gonna give it a try y'all stay tuned all right guys we're gonna get out here and duck around a little bit y'all stay tuned Looks like a gigantic buzz bait came across that. We're gonna go down to the big water, y'all. Well, guys, I'm not real impressed with this duck. Uh, we didn't even get an offer on it. Um, it may just be too big for this pond, but I think you can paint that thing, just paint it black. And it, you can see it puts off a, a heck of a commotion in the water. I think you can night fish that thing on a full moon. And you'd love to catch fish of a lifetime on it. So we're gonna get this spider tied on here and give it a try. We're gonna throw it a couple times and start here in open water and see if we can get anything on it. And then we're going to go down there over some of those grass beds and throw it a time or two and then probably going to go to the house and eat supper. I'm hungry. All right, let's cut our tag end off and we'll give it a toss. Oh, yellow. I guess you call it a tarantula. I've never seen a bass eat a spider, but... You know, personally, in real life, I've never seen a bass eat a rat either, so what the hell? Let's go try it somewhere else. Hey guys, we finished up Freak Bait Friday. Uh, had a good time filming it. Today we fished the Savage Wake Rat. Uh, I liked the action of the rat. It had a lot of good action. It looked good in the water. The fish liked it. Got lots of uh, bites on it. Uh, quite a few short strikes. I think that had a lot to do with the tail. Uh, but other than that, um, I liked it okay. If I was going to do something different with it, I'd do two things with it different. Um, the tail is not very well designed. It clips into a little uh, alcove, for lack of a better word, on the back. 
set a hook on a fish or, or catch a fish and that fish goes to slinging its head side to side coming up out of the water, you lose that tail almost immediately. And the bait just doesn't have the same action in the water without the tail on it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out something to make that work. Probably put a eye screw in it and epoxy it and then uh, where I can put a screw lock on it or a screw lock hook even. But uh, I liked it other than that as far as the design of the bait. Uh, I do not care for it because it's not weedless. I'd rather have a, a weedless version of it. Um, just, I think it'd be better you could throw it in a lot more places. Cattails, uh, you know, grass beds, uh, around, you know, submerged moss and stuff like that. You don't have to be quite so picky about making sure you're not going to get hung up on something or drag a bunch of moss in and ruin your presentation of your bait. Uh, the next thing we fished was a, uh, a baby turtle. Um, I like that little turtle. Um, I caught a couple fish on it. I think I got one of them on, on video. Uh, the biggest one I did not get on video because the homeowner was there, the, the landowner of the property, and he was talking and uh, I wasn't videoing at that time. Uh, but anyway, I did, I did catch one successfully on it. Uh, I like the bait, it has good action. It floats high in the water. It's got two little legs that, that spin around on the back like a plopper and make good noise. Uh, and it seems to be pretty good bait. Uh, <clears throat> probably the one thing I'd change about it, is, and I'll do this the next time I go, is the hooks kind of come in and then instead of being up just a little bit, they're kind of bent down against the plastic. So that fish has got to really bite hard for you to get a good hook up on him. I think a lot of them, when I would set the hook, they would eat the whole bait. And then as I would set the hook, it would force their mouth open and those hook points being down a little bit, it jerked the bait out of their mouth. I think I would have caught quite a few more fish on it. Uh, the third one that we fished was that uh, propeller duck. It's pretty heavy, weighs probably three ounces. Um, didn't really care for that bait at all. Uh, it's I think the profile of it's too big especially for the the ponds that I fish when I'm pond fishing uh, Now I will tell you it moves a lot of water um, And I think if you took that thing and you painted the belly on it black It's yellow right now, but I think if you took and painted the belly on that thing black Put that extra hook underneath the belly of it You took that thing out say like it uh, like Lake Fork on a full moon night and you get that thing up there around those main lake points up where those fish are up feeding and you can rip that thing like you were uh, fishing for peacock bass and stirring up a bunch of commotion you might catch a fish of a lifetime on that thing there uh, i really believe you, you could the last thing we fished was the, the little tarantula uh, it's real weedless. It looks good coming through the water. You can kind of just twitch it a little bit real slow. I had a couple of bites on it, but I think probably they were either little bitty bass or little brim because they were mainly biting at the legs on it. But uh, like I said, I had a good time doing it. Uh, and you don't know about this stuff until you try it. I presented the question of the day, freak baits, do they catch fish or fishermen? I'm going to say that for the most part, these baits will catch fish. Uh, it's not something you're going to go out there on every day and just you know, wear them out. It's not the next best thing in fishing, but it was fun to do, and I appreciate you guys watching. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, you got a little subscribe button there, you know, uh, get you to click that. I appreciate it. If you can tell somebody about Greenfish Nation, I'd appreciate that even more. Until next time, I'm John with Greenfish Nation. I want to wish all you guys tight lines.